Welcome to a Gendex video training series that demonstrates the functionality of VixWin Platinum 3.5 imaging software. Among other things, this tutorial will show you how to access, create, edit, delete, and search patient records. VixWin may be installed on your computer and configured in either bridge mode or standalone mode. In bridge mode, VixWin receives the patient name and ID from the practice management program. Refer to your Practice Management Software User's Manual for more information. In Standalone mode, you will double-click on the VixWin Desktop shortcut to open the software. When the software opens, you will be in the Patient folder. To start a VixWin session, you must create a new patient or select an existing patient before acquiring images. Let's begin by creating a new patient record. After clicking on New, enter the new patient name and any other pertinent patient information. Click OK to create the new patient record. The software will display a warning message when a patient's last name and first name and or health code already exist in the database. Selecting No will cancel the data entry process and allow you to further investigate as to whether the existing patient record is for the same person that you are trying to create a new record for. If you are certain this is a new patient, click Yes to enter the patient data, then click Edit. Here you can differentiate your patient from the existing patient by entering a differentiating fact in the database. Click OK to enter the name in the patient list. Click OK to open the folder for the selected patient. On the menu bar, let's click the Patient Folder button to return to the patient database. As the database grows, you can use the Patient List scroll to locate a patient. However, you might find it more efficient to use the Search feature. To locate a patient record, click Search then enter the patient's name or other pertinent information, then click OK. Click List to enter another query and repeat the search sequence. A patient may be deleted along with any associated images from the database. First, select the patient name, click Delete, and select Yes to confirm agreement to delete the record. To restore the deleted information, you must restore the database from a backup. The delete function should be used with caution, as a proper backup may not have been made and no restoration of data would be possible. Additional functionality exists to conceal names in the patient folder. Let's select a patient to be concealed. Click the Utilities button, then click on Conceal Selected Patient. The patient is no longer visible or available to open. To restore the name, click the Utilities button and click Show Conceal Patients. We now see the patient record that was hidden from view. However, when we exit the patient folder and return, the name is no longer visible. To permanently place the patient name back into the list, click on the Utilities button, click Show Conceal Patients, click on the patient name, open Utilities again, and select Revive Selected Patient. When we leave and return to the patient folder, the name will remain visible. The remaining Utilities function pertains to patient archiving. At present time, this feature is unavailable, but is expected to be activated in a future release of the software. This brings to a close the instructional video on patient entry. Please watch our other videos in this series for continued instruction of the functionality of the VixWin Platinum 3.5 imaging software. If you have any unanswered questions, or if you would like additional information, consult the VixWin Platinum 3.5 User Manual, which can be accessed by clicking the question mark toolbar icon. If you still have questions, contact Gendex Customer Support at 800-769-2909.